I'm in the truth. I'm in the booth of the truth. Now I need I need the spirit of God to give me a comfort zone, a comfort reflection, a comfort ability. Many times comfort, you got to flood out the worry, flood out the consideration of lack to find the comfort. The comfort of God is already here, wanting to usher in, wanting to pour into you, wanting to give you maximized blessedness and power in your mind and your thoughts. But something is fighting it. There's a consideration in your mind that is fighting the peace of God. If I surrender, submit, yield, let go, wait on the Lord, focus on God, stay in that YouTube worship session for two hours, not five minutes and get out. This will overtake that which is fighting me. The cycle that is against me, the affliction in the cycle that is against me will be diminished, demoted. Because if I get in God's presence long enough, if I get in the realization, if I get in the flow of the spirit, see, as I make videos, I don't feel the presence of God. I don't even know if my videos are powerful or not. But I've learned if I keep just talking and keep reading my Bible and keep pushing and keep God, the spirit going to kick in. See, when the spirit kick in, I'm going to know it. And I'm going to know that's where my transformation is at. I'm going to know that's where my change is at. I'm going to know that's where God is at. I'm going to know that's where my seat is at. You, if you don't know your place in life, how you going to have placement? And how are you going to move from that placement? And how are you going to build while still remaining in placement? If you don't know your place, if you don't know your number, if you don't know your call, if you don't know your scenario. And these are deep, intrinsic things, but they're all wired to your relationship with God. They're not wired to you being successful. They're not wired to you having a bigger ministry. Well, when I get this, this will happen. No, no, no. It's wired to your intimate time with God. In your intimate bond and relationship with God. And you can do that in unity. See, in my life, the Lord has activated when I go around his... Hallelujah. What I love about my life, the presence of God is on me stronger than it's ever been. I'm seeing people get delivered and healed and set free, and I can feel the covering of his presence. And that is honorable. I worship him. I'm so excited. I'm so thankful. But honestly, I desire more. I desire a greater dimension of his presence. I desire a greater level of his glory emitting. I desire, And there are inward things I have to see. There were outward experiences that were actually inward perceptions that actually became ultimate realizations that actually rose me to the mountain of all climaxes that became the solution. So if the solution is doubt, which you don't realize things rise in your life. I don't doubt. I just want to have faith. I just I want, want, want. Yet the doubting of your mind, the cycles that consider doubt, the illusions and perceptions that bring forth darkness, the areas of your life where you are debilitating yourself through gossip, through any kind of activity that is not in the glory of God, it rises and it begins to fight over first place in your mind, second place in your mind. If the devil can't get first place, he going to get second place. He, As long as he can get placement on you, he going to have a say so. As long as he can get inside of you, somehow he has a right. Okay, You don't let that devil inside of you. Things do not make the spiritual things and the Bible tells us it does not make sense to the carnal mind. I still serve Jesus today and thing, this stuff, none of this stuff is making sense to my mind. But after long enough, if I just worship, if I just get in his presence, everything begins to make sense. But I have to openly testify of what he is showing me. I have to publicly pronounce the God of heaven to, to shut down public demons at my work. And publicity comes into your invisibility. What's going on in this area? You say, well, I'm just not going to worry about it. Yet you got things afflicting you at your job that you're bringing home with you. You're bringing or wherever you go in life, you coming back home with it. So wherever I go in life, I'm cutting devils down and bringing glory back. Because when I come home, I'm coming home to my daddy. I'm coming home to my father. I'm coming home to my Lord. Okay. So I return I go out in life, I conquer like a lion, I fly like a prophetic eagle, I soar and gaze and dawn upon humanity, but I return back to the throne room. I return back to where it all begins. I do that through my word and the Holy Spirit. Mm -mm. You look at what you believe in life. When you look at what you believe in life, it becomes perception. That perception becomes the reality of what you see. The reality of what you see, because what you see, you be, is what you be. 
Now, what you be is what's going to be doing and what's going to be done and what's going to happen and what's going to continue to occur. Now, the spiritual things, see, God don't want to complex us, but the spiritual realities of life are very, very complex. And as God gives us deeper understanding and he gives us deeper roots into the dimensions of his mind, his insight, his revelation, his wisdom, his outpouring, his spirit, then I'm able to break these things down, uncode them into a civilization of a body of knowledge. And I'm able to present it in an eloquent way where there's understanding to the kindergarten, to the first grade, to the congregation, to the angels, to the saints, to the heavens, to the glory, to the galaxy. And so all these different meters of power. There's temperature, there's meat, you know, they, they took me to this, they took me through this class and I was having to learn all the dynamics of life and all the, how this, if this goes clockwise, does this go counterclockwise? So, okay, if I follow the leader, if I follow the leader, I'm going to have strength. I'm going to have empowerment. I'm going to have explosive joy. Okay, but I got to follow the leader. Which is following the one. Not the second thought, 